So I've got a um, uh, I've got a mask that I've made, or I've got a low poly face that I've me made to use a mask. My my uh, my son here is uh, is uh, displaying it there, and I was able to lay it out on onto cards, and it was a good fit, fun thing to do. Um, and what I'm doing in this tutorial is really just going over the um, 3D paint tool, which is what I use to paint the textures for it. It's a very low poly mask. Um, it's really easy to put together um, and, and great for using in, in low poly, um, you know, for, for low poly characters and games and stuff. So um, what I'm going to do is just go over the process of texturing and creating a texture using the 3D paint tool. I'm going to start by using my um, my template here, where I've got no UVs at all, and I'm going to just show how um, to lay the UVs out to make this easy for painting. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is so the thing I'm going to do is going to I'm going to delete the history. Uh, I've got a load of history on here. Uh, I'm just going to just clean this up a bit. So I'm just going to go to edit. Delete die type and delete history. Just going to make this so that I don't have loads of different nodes and things that are, are flowing into it. Um, and the other thing I need to do is lay out the UVs. So um, at the moment the UVs are real mess. And if I go to the UV editor, um, this isn't the UV set that I want. I just slapped a planar UV projection onto it. I want something that's a bit better. Uh, and I want something where I can paint onto this directly and it transfer onto a texture that can then be saved as an image uh, as an image file so I'm going to go to my UVs uh, so I'm going to go to polygon modeling and I'm going to go to uh, UV and I'm going to try the closest UV projection for a face which will be a cylindrical map here um, it's put it down the x-axis which is perfectly correct and so I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees in so it aims down the face and if I go to the UV editor I can see that it's laid out like this now this is kind of okay I've got this filter turned on at the moment just to show a couple of uh, of errors that that are occurring so if I if I turn on the, the shaded UV display um, what's happening is these purple Parts are showing me UVs, the faces that are being have been kind of essentially textured backwards. What's happened is uh, I've fired the UV projection straight onto the face, and it's hitting the back side of these of the chin here. And also, I've got some overlapping faces, places where let's say um, I've textured it, and it's just it's caught the corner of the, um, the corner of the brow before it's caught. The top of the eyelid, so you can see where they go darker to darker blue. There, that's where the UVs are overlapping. I can't have that because if I'm texturing this, all of the all of the UV space has to be unique. I want to be able to paint on to an image and not have any part share the same UV space. And I'll show you, you know, what the implications of that are. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to just lay these out. So I'm going to unfold them, drag select all my UVs, go to polygon, and I'm going to go to unfold. And that will just unfold everything, lay it all out. There won't be any back sided faces there. There won't be any faces that are overlapping in the UV space. It's a bit messy on top of the head here, but I can actually stitch this together. If we notice that if I drag select this UV here, I can see that on the top here, it actually shares these UVs and I can see that in fact if I turn on the magnet tool I can actually start snapping these together so if I drag select that you can see I've got the two UVs on the top that are sharing that UV there and I'm just going to clean this up a bit by just layering up this uh, just mending this tear in UV space and there that's a bit better and I'm going to sew these together by going to polygon and sew UV edges, polygons, sew UV edges again, polygons, sew UV edges. And what that does is now, instead of having two UVs that move about independently, I'm just going to turn that snap off, uh, it has one UV that's been merged together. 
and that means that it's just a little bit cleaner and when it means that what it means also is I can drag select this I can go to polygons and I can unfold it again and it's a much more even unfold and that means that everything now is nicely set up for painting and it means that also the these UVs are unique so if I paint on this side of the face here it won't affect this side unless unless I uh, mirror the effect which is something I'll show in in the next video so now the UVs are set up uh, and I'll show in the next video how to uh, create a um, the um, 3D paint tool, how to use a 3D paint tool in order to create this uh, uh, a proper facial texture.